Hi, welcome to Title Talk. I'm Barbara Dixon, and um, as most of you probably already know, Karen Heemstra has retired, and we are going to miss her very, very much. But we wanted to keep Title Talk going, if at all possible. Um, Karen's the one that got it started, and she did a phenomenal job. And we, but we hope that you will stick with us and learn to appreciate the new way that we're going to be doing it. Um, each week we'll feature a different um, person from here at the library and we'll just talk about some of our favorite books and favorite authors. And my first one that I would like to introduce is The Missing Piece by Sharon Sala. Um, Sharon Sala is a writes romantic suspense with, with the emphasis on suspense. And this book um, came out just before we had to close down for a while. So a lot of people have probably not seen it yet. Um, and it's about a PI named Charlie Dodge. And he gets called in on the disappearance of a multimillionaire named Carter Dunleavy. And as he digs through everything that is going on, he discovers that someone was trying to kill Mr. Dunleavy and that Carter Dunleavy left on his own. He disappeared willingly, went into hiding to try to uh, keep from having an accident happen, which he had had several already and was really lucky to be alive. Um, within three days Charlie Dodge has been able to find him and find out some of the details of what has happened in the past and why he disappeared on his own and agrees to work for him and try to find out who is trying to kill him because it has to be someone either in the family or very close to the family and through a lot of different twists and turns um, to the very end it leaves you guessing and normally I can kind of figure out who is behind stuff this one took me by surprise so um, if you get a chance pick up the missing piece by Sharon Sala and take a look at it it's really good the next book um, this one is a little bit older and I had missed this when it first came out uh, this book uh, Haunted Destiny by Heather Graham is about four years old. Um, and this one is Paranormal Suspense. And it also has a touch of romance in it. Um, but it takes place, begins on the shore in New Orleans. And soon you get on a cruise ship um, following an FBI agent named Jackson Crow and another investigator named Jude McCoy. And they follow who they believe to be a killer onto this cruise ship. What they find out, they didn't follow the killer. They followed someone that he had killed. They followed a ghost. And um, there's several um, suspects in this one and a murder that happens when they pull into a port. Um, lots of little things that just don't quite add up, but they, they have figured out that it has to be someone either connected with the cruise line or else someone that is wealthy enough to take a lot of cruises. And again, this is another one that leaves you guessing until the last minute and just really wondering what's gonna happen next um, there are a lot of ghosts in this book. There are a lot of ghosts. This is a haunted cruise and it's a lot of fun meeting the ghosts from uh, years gone by. Uh, several from the World War II era and then some that are much more recent. But it's fun, it's entertaining, very suspenseful and again keeps you guessing. So Haunted Destiny by Heather Graham. The last book, now this one I have not had a chance to do more than just get started on it. It's called The Girl from Widow Hills 
uh, by Megan Miranda. This is a brand new title. And when I read the synopsis, it intrigued me. And even though I'm about two chapters into it, I had, trust me, I didn't want to go to sleep last night um, because I wanted to keep reading. Uh, it starts out um, with Arden Maynard, um, who was just six years old when she was swept away uh, while she was sleepwalking during a terrifying rainstorm. And strangers and friends, everybody pulled together, uh, praying and held vigils and uh, just praying for a safe return. And against all odds, she was found alive clinging to a storm drain. And the girl from Widow Hills was a living miracle. And Arden's mother wrote a book, uh, fame followed, and fans, fan letters, and a few crazies, and, um, as soon as she was old enough, Arden changed her name and disappeared from the public eye. And now she's a young woman living hundreds of miles away from where she grew up and she's built a new life for herself. But the 20th anniversary is soon approaching of her disappearance and recovery and soon she feels like she's being watched and she starts having nightmares again and sleepwalking again until she finds herself one night jolted awake with the corpse of a man at her feet and not knowing what happened or how he got there. So definitely one to have on your radar and I can't wait to finish it. What I've read so far, it's like, okay, I'm, I'll probably finish this tonight <laughs> because it's really, really good. And thank you for joining us for Title Talk. And I hope you will continue to join us and um, hopefully pick up on a few of the books that we talk about. Thank you.